We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Chicago Cubs and the New York Yankees. The Yankees have won five games in a row. They'll look for number six right after this. Masahiro Tanaka is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Tanaka right now is the best of all of their starting pitchers. Good fastball, 92 to 94. Best pitch is the split finger. He'll throw it early, he'll throw it often. If he has the good split, these hitters are in for a long night. Now in the box, Javier Baez. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Javier Baez. Here comes the first pitch. Strike taken up in the zone. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they come in riding a five-game winning streak, and they've really got things clicking. Yeah, Maddie, this team's coming together right now. They're playing dangerous baseball. You can tell the look in their eye. They feel good about where they're at. They've won a few games in a row, and they look to continue that trend today. One ball and one strike to the Cubs' leadoff batter. One and two. Now here's the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. With that, the Cubs get their leadoff man aboard. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. At the plate now, David Bodie. As Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. He comes in at 262 on the year. Five homers and 28 RBIs. This one's in the dirt. Good job keeping it close as the count goes to one and one. From the belt, the pitch. Line, but speared on a hop. Torres at the bag. Devoit in time for the double play. That is her. The designated hitter. Chris Bryant. Here's Chris Bryant now. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two-out rally started. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a liner. But foul. The wind up and the 0 1. Slider and he can't pull the trigger. Two strikes. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Balls and strikes belong to Mr. Jerry Hillsdale. Dero, Jerry Hillsdale might be one of the more solid everyday umpires in the league right now. Yeah, I think he's one of the best in the business, Dan. High praise all around. You go into both meetings with the managers, and what do they do? They rave about Jerry Hillsdale. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Two out, nobody on. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Boy, not what you want coming out of the gate as a pitcher, right? You don't want to have to show all of your pitches this early on in the game, but that's a quality at bat. And what does it make you do as a pitcher? You have to use a lot of your pitches, and the more pitches a hitter sees, the better chance they have to make good contact. Throw on to Boyd takes care of him, and the inning is over. 
Nothing happening there for the Cubbies. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Jose Quintana is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Here comes Brett Gardner now as he'll lead things off in the home first. For the Yankees, the center fielder, Brett. And now a pitch on the way. Hey! Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they come in in the midst of a stretch where they've dropped six of their last nine. Yeah, Matty, this road trip's been a little bit of a struggle for this team. First four games, they find themselves one and three, haven't played particularly well. They'll find a way to regroup. They have to find a way to play a little bit more fundamentally sound. Start there first. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Three and two to the Yankees center fielder. Miguel Andujar waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He's set and the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hap will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Batting third. The right field. Error. Digging in, Aaron Judge who comes in today leading the American League in batting for the season. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Tried to check it in its 0-1. Oh, one. Here's the pitch. Nope, at the ball. One ball, one strike. Gardner leads off first with one away. Throw over to the bag, oh, and he'll be back in standing up. Ball, and he lays off for a ball, two and one. And they've got him picked off. And a good decision to throw as he is toast at second base. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. And easy take there. And it's three and one now. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one, two, three, at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that, and he's even gotten himself into a good hitter's count now. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Down in order go the Yankees. We are still scoreless. Two 
Digging in, Wilson Contreras. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. First offering on its way. There's a good breaking ball as it gets the bottom of the zone. Good hard slider there, but it runs away. It's a ball and a strike. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Inside corner called a strike one and two. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking here. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. And he fouls this one off. The 2-2. Two -two. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. All even at 2-2. Two and two. Here it is. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. We got full count. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. The 3 2 pitch. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. In past meetings with Tanaka, he's one for five. No score here as we play inning number two. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Protecting with two strikes went out of the zone that time but he stays alive. Now another 0 2. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. Pops this one up. And Duhar has a play. He's got it, and there are two down now. That is good. The left field. Kyle Schwarber. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. In there, strike one. A bouncer to the left side. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Striding forward now, the Yankee cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. To show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
way out in front as this is yanked foul into the seats in left. The wind up and the 0 1. 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes now. The one two. Now this guy's a grinder, fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Two two pitches fouled away. And another foul ball. Even at two and two, here it is. Fouled off. He spoils another one and will do it again. Fouled away. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. He's definitely going to want to get greedy in his own, and he's obviously seeing the ball well, or he would have swung at that pitch. Sometimes in these long, epic at bats, you start to get into swing mode. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And that at bat will put a smile on any manager's face. The pitch total of the opposing pitcher just keeps going higher and higher, and he still couldn't put him away. So this inning is off to a good start for the guys carrying the sticks. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. Great jump on that ball get to the gap in right center field. A great diving catch. One of the better plays you'll see. Now at the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's the first pitch to him. Sliced hard on the ground. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, d -row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Oh, too high, 1-0. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think the approach to this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. The 1-0. Hey. Okay, hey, now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play, and he throws him a four-seamer. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh. 
swing, and there it goes. Deep to left, no chance at bringing this one back. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three-run blast is straight away left, and even 20 home runs for him now thus far as the Yankees move out to a three-to-nothing lead. Boy, when this guy gets in a groove, he can hit him, and when he hits him, he hits him in bunches. Hit a home run in last night's game, and if they continue to pitch him on the outer part of the plate, look out, this guy's going to do some major damage. Standing in now, Luke Voigt, the first baseman. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. The average right at 280 coming in. 15 long balls and 37 RBIs. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0 and 2. I know he's down in the count right now, and it's not looking good, but he's been swinging the bat so well lately. I don't think he minds this one bit. Count remains at 0 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone and there are two gone. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working outside the zone. Easier said than done, but that's the way you do it. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Quintana's ready. 0-1 oh, on its way. Sinker, one ball, one strike. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. The 2-1 and one on its way. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. Three runs already home here. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. But foul. The 2-2. Two -two. Wow, these guys are really grinding out their bats in this one. They're not making any outs easy to get. And that, of course, is having a huge impact on the pitch count. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. So it's back to the top of the order now. And up next, the left-handed hitting Brett Gardner. Here's the first pitch to him. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Here's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Pitch is piling up 44 and he's not clear of the second yet. High in the air out to center field. Hap is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. We've played two. It's now 3-0 New York. Welcome back to the Bronx, where these fans have witnessed a lot of good pitching from their Yankees this season. 
Coming into the day, they rank first in the league in both ERA and strikeouts, a combination that has opposing lineups searching for answers. One member of the staff told me, it's a special group of guys. I've never been on a pitching staff that's so dominant top to bottom, and I've been on some pretty good ones. Now, one of the hitters on the team told me, I'm relieved I get to stand behind them and play defense instead of staring them down in the box. That can't be fun. Matt, back to you. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. And he gets ahead 0-1. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here. Capitalize on the momentum his batters have. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. And right into the shift. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. It was a two-head effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. Here comes the first pitch. Turned on, but it's wide of first and foul. Happ with a swing, and he connects, sends this one to deep right field. Into the second deck and gone. A solo home run here off the bat of Ian Happ. 19th home run for him on the season. And the Cubs are on the board. It's now a 3-1 ball game. Ah, oh, man, that swing right there, Dan. That had to feel good. You're facing an elite starter. You don't know if you're even going to get wood on the baseball today. You know, and that'll rattle you a little bit. This guy's been throwing the ball great, one of the top pitchers in the game. He's not used to guys barreling him up and hitting him in the seats. Stepping into the box, Jason Kipnis. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Jason Kipnis. Now the pitch. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Aye. Called strike 0 and 2. Kipnis, or Kip for short. He's currently on a one year deal, so he stands to be a free agent at the end of this season. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Digging in for his second at bat, Javier Baez. He singled to open up the ball game. Not an easy thing to do when you're in a leadoff spot, but that was a good piece of hitting in his first at bat, an opposite field base hit, which leads me to believe that this guy's going to cover both sides of the plate. The 1 0. Fouled away. Right side hit hard and that's through for another base hit. He'll make it two for two in this one. 
now batting third baseman David Bodie. And prior to the first pitch, he'll look to first. And he'll get back in standing. In now, David Bodie. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. But the Cubs do get one back on the solo home run. We play two and a half. It's the Yankees three, and the Cubs one. And we're back for the bottom of the third. Let's check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready to go for the last half of the inning and striding into the plate, it'll be Miguel Andujar. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. That missed. Close. It's ball two. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. It's one thing to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. The 3 1. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Count still full, three and two. Now, oh my, this ball is crushed. Look at it go. Boom goes the dynamite. So a solo shot down the line in left. Home run number nine on the year as the Yankees have taken a four to one lead. Well in just a little more than two innings of work he's given up two homers. Could be just one of those games for him. We'll see how much rope they give him. It's definitely getting shorter at the moment. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here's the pitch. Inside, ball one. Well, I'll tell you, if he wants to turn things around, that pitch is one he's going to have to start locating a lot better. One one home is laid off for ball two. 
Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. That being very aggressive right now. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one, you're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Base is empty here with nobody out. Inside, he misses ball four. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up where he can really hurt him. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He worked a walk and came around to score in his first trip in this game. Has a look. Now the pitch. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. And time will be called here as the pitching coach heads out to the mound and hopefully try and settle this guy down a bit. Into the box now, Torres, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. The 1 0. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Boom goes the dynamite. So a three run blast to straight away left home run number 15 for him thus far as it's now a six run ball game. Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound and he's going to make a change as that'll do it for Jose Quintana. So he'll make a beeline for the showers I'm sure as he's going to want to put this awful night behind him as quickly as possible. John Lester is going to come on to pitch here and in just the third inning you have to think he'll be asked to eat some innings. John Lester. And that sends D.J. LeMayhew into the box. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. LeMayhew is undoubtedly one of the best hitters in the sport. And it doesn't matter, right-handed or left-handed pitching, he's one of the elite threats with a bat in his hands. Good swing, just got to try and straighten that one out. Four runs here in this half inning. Pops this one up. Modi in foul ground. And this will land foul. Two and two. Heading out towards shallow right. Hayward giving chase. He can't get to it. This one's down. You know who's the happiest man in the building right now? His starting pitcher. Oh, He's got a big old smile on his face. He knows he has a six-run lead here in the early going to work with. You can't let that take away your edge, though.
at the plate Gary Sanchez as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. Oh one here's the pitch right over the top with that curveball and it's 0 and 2. Good thing he didn't make contact with that pitch. Only thing he could do is probably hit that on the ground. It could be a double play ball. One and two to the Yankees catcher. That's a good pitch to lay off right there. That cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. So now to the plate, Luke Voigt. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Now the 2 0. Popped him up. Contreras is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. The batter, number 29. Digging in to try it again. Gio Urshela. He drew a walk his first time up. He's set. Here it comes. Hey. Two out with the man at first. And that misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. Urshela. Stands at an even six feet tall, a right handed batter and thrower. He's a five year vet at the major league level. Here's the one and one delivery. All two. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward is there and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate and they push across four runs. On now to the top of inning number four. The Yankees lead this one seven to one. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He starts the inning and Dan they're down six in the early going. So what do they need to do to claw back into this thing. Well first of all Matt I think they need to start to get some base runners. It's hard to be patient when you're down by six. But base runners are the key to getting back into this one. And the pitch. Aye. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. The jump, 1 and 1. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 1 2. And he fouls this one off. A 
Another 1-2 delivery. Shot toward right center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the now first that, out. Taking another look at it, the ball has some top spin on it, but he's on the full run and dives to make the catch. Nice defensive play right there. Riding in once again, Wilson Contreras. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. A ball and a strike now. One and one, here it comes. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. This is line to left. Stanton will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the, the second out of the inning. 44, Anthony Rizzo. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. He popped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more yeah. over him. In there, and it's 0-1. One run on three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. One and one, the count of the Cubs' first baseman. Unable to find the zone with the slider. A lot of pitches away here, which is pretty much what you're forced to do with lefty batters here at Yankee Stadium. It doesn't take much to hook one out of here to right field with that short porch out there. The 2-1. And he popped him up. And Duhar just to the left of the mound. And the inning is over. Cubs are down in order. They're down 7-1. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Brett Gardner. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right handers begun to get loose. The 1-0 is taken strike one hit back toward the mound and this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning there's a hard hit ground ball pitcher not able to get a glove on it hard single up the middle yeah watch your lips right there Dan sent it back right where it came from Here's Miguel Andujar now as he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little. It's 0-1. He's working on a one for two game so far. And this one's downstairs. It's a ball and a strike. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Hey, you know in the back of your mind as a batter right here, he's got that nasty sinker. 
I know it's 0-2, but he might not be looking for the punch out. You have to find a way as a batter to get that two-seamer up in the zone or you're going to ground into a double play. Now a curveball misses inside. The 2-2 two -two is laid off and the count runs full. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. He's set. Now the pitch. On a line to shortstop. But the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. John. Ready for another shot now. Aaron Judge comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now Lester's 0 1. Hit sharply on the ground. Bare handed for one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Yanks held in check. They're on top seven to one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cubs to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. Among other things, he brought up their lack of walks as a sign that they're not doing a great job of working the count and laying off pitches outside the strike zone. Going forward, he's hoping to see a better focus on competitive at-bats and more selective swings. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Leading off with the Cubs. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Kyle Schwarber. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Ball one to start the at-bat. Now the 1-0. Is offered at and missed for the first strike. The 1 1 home is taken for ball two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Looks at a fastball low here and it's full. 3 and 2. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on deck circle. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. So yet another strong outing for him tonight as we show you the league leaders in ERA. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Striding into the box, Jason Hayward. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. One 0 pitch is a sinker swung on and missed one and one. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. The center fielder, number eight, Ian Hart. Into the box, Ian Happ. 
as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He homered back in the third inning in this one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. This pitcher's bringing it with some high velo. You better get that front foot down early and get ready, or he's going to throw it right by you. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Real ugly 0 1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. The 1 2. And a splitter swung on and missed that time, and that'll be out number two. Well, this lineup obviously doesn't get to see this guy very often because he's over in the other league, and it's really showing. He's pitching really well right now, and I'm sure these hitters are plenty happy they don't have to face him multiple times this year. And is the second baseman, Jason Kipnis, as Tanaka jumps ahead of him here at strike one. Man, this guy's been incredibly efficient so far in this one. Mostly because he's getting ahead. 70% of the batters he's faced, he's thrown a first pitch strike to. And here's one that misses to the Chicago second baseman. It's a ball and a strike. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. A runner on first with two away. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Swing and a miss as the slider sets him down for the final out of the inning. Cubs strand one. They're down seven to one. Next for New York, Giancarlo Stanton. As we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. Giancarlo Stanton. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation, I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0 and 2. And he won't offer it that too high one and two pretty standard fastball right there. Oh and two now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. Fouled off. Lifted in the air out to right. Hayward has a read on it. One down. Now the Cubs are into their bullpen now as there are the final numbers for their starter. Certainly not the night he wanted to have. Hey, in this day and age where runs are at a premium, you certainly can't give any free passes. Had a rough go commanding the strike zone. Gave up four walks and that really hurt him in this one. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Torres, he's one for two in this one. First pitch on its way. Lays off one and oh. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. When you're down six on the mound, you got to at least throw strikes here. One out, nobody on.
two balls and a strike to count. The two one home. Down three and one. Well it's a pretty well known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher and he misses ball four now back second baseman DJ digging in and looking for more DJ LeMayhew he singled his last time up He's ready. Here's the first offering. Oh, that kick out. Runners on first with one down. Good cut fastball in there. One and one. On the ground for Kipnis. This could be two. There's one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. Down in order go the Yankees. They're on top seven to one. Here's Javier Baez. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. First delivery to him on the way. Nope. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. Here's a swing and a miss. One and one. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. Now two one. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play so that'll move the count to two and two now. Two and two now to Baez. David Bodie waits on deck. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Left side. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Up next to the Cubs, the third baseman, David Cody. Stepping up now, David Bodie. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Here comes the first pitch. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right hander starts to loosen up. Bases are empty, one man out. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. This is line to left, and that will fall in front of Stanton. It's a base hit. Now battle. The designated hitter. Chris Bryant. Now at the plate, Chris Bryant. He's grounded out and lined out in two trips. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Nope, the ball. 
That's the human element of the game right there. Umpires are going to miss a couple calls. It's the pitcher's ability to stay composed and grind that's going to make him successful today. Two balls and no strikes to the Cubs designated hitter. Man this guy's had their number all game long up down in and out. He's pitching very well. Hit hard on the ground to second. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Long throw to third, and he's safe. Hey, there's a base hit right there. Now, now they have a couple of runners on with less than two outs, but they're down by so much in this game that hopefully maybe they can get something started here in this inning. Yeah, 100%, Dan. I played the game a long time. I've never seen a big league hitter giving that bat away. You chip away and fight until that 27th out is made. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Contreras swings, and this is well hit to left. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a three run blast to straight away left number 18 for him on the campaign and it's now a seven to four ball game. How about the work the lineups have been doing so far fellas. Yeah hey Matty V this big ball park in the Bronx has that short porch in right field D row but you can hit the ball out of just about any part of this ballpark. Yeah this place plays sneaky small I know it's got big gaps but right field is so juicy as a right handed hitter you don't feel like you have to cheat not surprised by what we saw today. First offering on its way. Anthony Rizzo comes on with one away as he looks at a ball. It's one and oh. And now pitch on the way. One and one to count. The pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Hits are even at seven apiece. Won't go after the two one sinker and it's three balls in a strike now and through five and a third already coming up on a hundred pitches here. Yeah Matty V this pitch count continues to go up 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 near 100 pitches here. He's not even through the sixth inning and Mark DeRosa this is right where you'd like to have a pitcher like this guy. Yeah absolutely a lot of stress pitches for him you know. Usually you can throw 100 pitches and if you're not taxed and there's not people in runners in scoring position you could be all right but he's he's had to grind this one. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the third time now as he takes a look at a ball. It's 1 and 0. Oh. 1 and 1 to Schwarber. And that misses 2 and 1. One Bases are empty here with two men out. All even now, two and two. Here's the pitch. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. 
He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. But the Cubs do get three on the three-run home run. Bottom of the sixth coming up. It's the Yankees seven and the Cubs four. Alec Mills enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for Chicago, number 30, Alec Mills. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Gary Sanchez. He set to start it out for the Yanks here in the sixth. First pitch of the at bat. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. And it looks like the Cubs will get a left hander up and working out of the bullpen. Now the 1 0. And it's fouled away. There's the 2 1 home. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Boy. Standing in now, Luke Voigt. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Yep, that ball went out. Mills has thrown a little over 50 innings and through those innings he's posted a whip a little under 1.5 certainly something he'd like to improve on. Now it's swing and a miss and he's behind one and two one out nobody on. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Too high. Ball three. Gio Urshela is on deck. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. Another payoff pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled away. into center field line drive base hit. Dan after that base hit right there he's got a six now game hitting streak going. You know what and this could be this could lead him on to something some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well and he's been rewarded for it as you talked about six game hitting streak so far. Stepping in now Gio Urshela as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one. 
It was a fly out for him in his last trip. He looked like a caveman swing and a club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Well, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. The next 0-2 pitch to him misses outside. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. The one two swing and a little blooper to center. Here's the center fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Now a long throw to third and he is in there. Well when you're going as well as he is not even a two strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah Maddie, he's having a monster season well over 300 right there. When you're feeling that confident at the plate it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. Runners are at first and third one away. Oh and two now as a curveball drops in there for a strike. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. The 0 2 pitch. And he fouls this one off. Got to believe the pitcher and catcher understand the fact that he's covering away and he's covering way away. Don't be shocked if he comes in with something. The 0 2 once more. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Really good late fight on that slider right there. Now the best ones have that late base. action that just Be darts there. at the last minute. They're I'm so tough hard. to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Miguel Andujar, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. And strike three called as he says, You got to be kidding me with the side retired. Yanks strand a pair. They hold a seven to four lead. Zach Britton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 53. Zach Britton. So that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He'll be tasked with starting things as we begin the seventh. The right fielder, Jason Hayward. First offering on its way. The 0 1 pitch rolled slowly down the third baseline. Here it comes, 0 2. Now he turns and smokes this one into deep center field. 
Gardner has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first down. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Digging in, Ian Happ. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. One over. There's a shin high slider laid off for a ball. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Check swing. No swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. Bases are empty, one man out. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And a swing and a miss here, so it's a quick two outs to start the seventh. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have been okay. sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. At the plate, Jason Kipnis, as the sinker to him, finds the zone for strike one. No hits to this point. Oh one, here's the pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Andahar brings it in. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Three up, three down for the Cubs. They're on the short end of a 7-4 score. Jeremy Jeffress will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Jeremy Jeffress. Here's big Aaron Judd. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He's set and the pitch. One on its way. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. Schwarber arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Now back, left fielder, John Carlo. Stanton. Giancarlo Stanton now. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch of the at bat. Count one and oh. One ball, one strike to count.
the 1-1. One, one. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Well, we'll see a lot of these power arms coming out of the bullpen in these days, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. At the plate now, Torres. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Oh, tough to catch up when it's moving like that. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Everything this guy throws moves. And that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. DJ LeMayhew would be next. The 3-1 is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. Back goes Hayward to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. One, two, three, go the Bombers. They hold a 7-4 lead. Chad Green has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 57. And that brings up Javi Baez. He's two for three thus far. Leading off for the cup. The cup. Javier Baez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1-0. Inside, ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And that's in there, two and one. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. To two and two now. Two and two. He's having a great day at the dish. His timing is spot on. This pitching staff's going to have to find a different way of attacking him. Hit hard up the middle. And into center field, a base hit. So early trouble here to start the eighth inning. Wow, talk about having a pretty special game. Oh, that's, that's his third tough. single of the, the game, D Row. Three for four. Not a bad game. Yeah, just not trying to do too much, Dan. Taking what the pitcher's giving him right here. If the fastball's away, shooting it the other way. If he's got something hanging in the middle of the plate, turning and burning a little bit. Nice execution. And now, David Bodie. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A one and no delivery. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning. Maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. High and away, not close. 3-0. and oh. This inning hasn't started ideally for him on the mound, but here on 3-0, and oh, you have to have the mentality that you're only a strike and or a ground ball double play away from getting back on track. From the belt, kicks and deals. 
You maybe get two pitches a game where all the guesswork goes out the window. This is certainly that situation. Ready with the 3 1. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. Now it will be the Cubs' DH. Chris Bryant, he's working on a one for three thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, a bit of a hanger, but it's laid off and called a strike. With some traffic on the base pads, nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Ball and a strike now to Bryant. A ball and two strikes. The one two. Nope. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Into center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. The runner from second crosses the plate. That makes it seven to five now. The catcher, number four, Wilson Contreras. Next to hit will be Wilson Contreras. And he popped him up. Stanton coming on. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grab. The runner from second crosses the plate. Those are the ones you remember right there, Dan. That's his fourth RBI of the night, and that doesn't happen often throughout the course of the season. And you know, as a pitcher, you see what this guy's been doing. You know he's having a good night. He's a tough guy, and he's a tough guy to pitch around. Some nights you just have to tip your cap a pretty good night. Four ribbies in this one here. Adam Ottavino is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Adam Ottavino. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. First delivery to him on the way. No balls and a strike to count. And that misses one and one. Back to back sliders in on the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch. So why not come right back with it again. Better job of laying off that one though. The one one. Swing and a miss, and that's a much needed first out there. 
Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing eye levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-0. -oh. is a slider looked at and called a strike. Adovino is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Man, they've really had his number so far in this series. That's his fifth strikeout in this series alone. Here's Jason Hayward now as he takes a cold strike at the knees. It's 0-1. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off-speed pitch. Now the 0-2. Hard hit ball to second. LeMayhew's got it. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Yankees seven and the Cubs six. Kyle Ryan is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 56, Kyle Ryan. Stepping in, DJ LeMayhew. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least. So you know he wants to make up for it right here. From the stretch. Looking to put him away. Here's the O2. Ryan is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. The one-two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth the inning of a one-run game, Gary. that's a really nice job of attacking Gary. a hitter and sending him packing. To the plate now, Gary Sanchez. As he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park, just like he did back in the second. Two and zero oh now. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Oh, 
high fly ball out to straightaway center. Hap is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Up next to the Yankees, the first baseman, Luke Ford. Standing in, Luke Voigt. Here's the first pitch to him. And this is just off the outside corner for a ball 1-0. And he misses again 2-0. Two out, nobody on. Smoke toward third. A dive, and he knocks it down. But they'll still manage to get the out on the force, and with that fine play, the inning comes to an end. So the Yanks go 1-2-3. They'll try and hold him in the field now. It's 7-6. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention to so with the save situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard throwing left hander, Aroldis Chapman. Ian Happ will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Here comes the first pitch. Nope. Ball one. Count one out. The one out. -oh. A swing and a miss, strike one. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. 1-1 one, one pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Up next to the pass, the second baseman, Jason Kipnick. Stepping into the box, Jason Kipnis. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the stretch, here's the pitch. One-run game here in the top of the ninth. And it's one and one. Chapman, a 6-4 lefty. He's an 11-year vet at the major league level, so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball. Chapman ready, the one-one. Swung on and missed. And one and two now. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. The one two.
Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Fouled off. And that's taken high for a ball that's full now. Three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Now the three and two pitch. And that's lifted the other way out to left. And Duhar ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Javier Baez. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Oh, that's off the plate. The 1-0. -oh. Two ball, no strike. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one-run game, he doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. Set to deliver on 3-0. Hey, there aren't too many power hitters in the game that would let that pitch go by. Three and one pitch. Crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. High and deep down the left field line. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. And he gets strike three called to end it here. And with that, this one is over. You can just see that the confidence is radiating off of them out there right now. That's six wins in a row. And this looks like a train that's not about to slow down anytime soon. A tight one, seven to six, the final score tonight. The New York Yankees took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Masahiro Tanaka picks up his league-leading 13th win. Jose Quintana was hit hard to the tune of seven earned as he takes the loss. Aroldis Chapman closes the door for the save, his 18th. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.